External skeletal fixation has become a widely used method for the stabilization of fractures and osteotomies in both human and veterinary patients. As this, the SK system has evolved, I think it's improved stability with the frames, but it's also made, they're made to be very user friendly, where we have simple components. It has a lot of uh, attributes to the orthopedic surgeon and being able to manage a variety of cases. Clinical indications include stabilization of simple or comminuted fractures, arthrodeses, and stabilization of osteotomies for correction of angular limb deformities. It's easy for us in practice to maintain a reasonable inventory of parts and we can kind of swap things in and out. The clinical advantages of external fixation include versatility of use and of construct design, minimally invasive application, and ease of making post-operative adjustments. Additional benefits include high patient tolerance, ability to perform stage disassembly, ease of removal, and relative low cost. Our goals are to introduce the SK External Skeletal Fixation System by IMEX and to provide some historical background on its genesis. Additionally, we will explain each component and demonstrate the proper application of a basic linear SK ESF frame. Linear external skeletal fixation integrates the use of percutaneous transfixation pins, an external frame composed of clamps and one or more connecting rods. Also, a tied-in intramedullary pin for fracture fixation is used occasionally. The Kirchner Emmer, or KE, device was the primary external skeletal fixator in North America for many years. As veterinary surgeons began to understand external fixation with the KE device, they found it necessary to construct complex frames using modern ESF pins in order to limit patient morbidity and premature pin loosening. IMEX was the first company to provide modern, positive threaded ESF pins in multiple sizes, compatible with the KE fixator. Recently, IMEX has upgraded fixation pins technology with our DuraFace half pins. Uh, when we changed the ability to clamp larger diameter pins, then you could go to a larger diameter, overall diameter for the pin, achieve a root diameter that was adequate for the purpose and end up with a pin that was much stiffer overall. As the popularity of external fixation increased, veterinary surgeons desired a fixation clamp that would simplify the construction of complex ESF frames containing multiple full pins and stacked or augmented external bars. Well, at that time in the early 90s, Hall, there was, uh, as you know, very little external fixator systems, very few of them in the market, and the ones that were available did not address the needs we needed as far as stability, uh, components, adaptability or adjustability. Engineers working on this problem realized that the KE device had an inherently weak connecting bar. This resulted in the need for complex frames and dependence on full pins. And we were doing comparative orthopedic research at the time and we needed systems that would allow us to do standardized procedures in order to study these models and there wasn't anything available at that time so there was an early interest to get involved in trying to develop and come up with systems that we could actually use in our arena. IMEX responded by engineering a new modular ESF device from ground up thus eliminating the need for complex frames while simplifying the use of modern fixation pins. So I, I think it was uh, very efficient in both ways, and you can see results. We have uh, one of the best uh, circular external fixator today in the market for human applications, and we have one of the best external fixator for veterinary application. Simple type 1A or 1B frames are now able to be applied with confidence. You know, it makes life easier. You can put in more simpler constructs and it affords you a lot of stability. And I think the other key element to that is that um, the fixation clamp allowing you to easily pre-drill pilot holes to place pins, the drill sleeve, the fact that you can use the 
a clamp as an aiming device as well. Those things all make it uh, pretty convenient to use. The revolutionary design of the SK Fixator is based upon the use of larger connecting rods made of strong, lightweight materials combined with pin-gripping clamps that support the use of multiple pin diameters and simplify the use of modern fixation pins. Currently, the SK ESF system is available in three sizes, mini, small, and large. Each size represents a scaled-up or scaled-down version of the basic SK fixation clamp and rod. Let us review the anatomy of the SK single clamp. The single ESF clamp is comprised of a unique two-piece clamp body, a stainless steel primary pin gripping bolt with a slotted washer, a nut to tighten the primary bolt, and a secondary bolt that serves a variety of functions. Correct assembly of the clamp is shown. The different body halves are labeled B1 and B2. It is important to note that the B1 body half contains a single threaded hole that the secondary bolt threads into, while the B2 body half has a gliding hole for the secondary bolt. All other holes in the SK clamp body are non-threaded, necessitating that a nut be used on the pin gripping bolt to maintain its position. The patented pin gripping bolt labeled PB includes a sliding washer labeled W. The washer includes a meniscus, shown by the arrow, which enables a wide range of pin diameters to be firmly secured by the pin gripping channel, labeled P. In fact, the SK clamp is capable of holding a wider range of pin diameters than any other external fixator clamp, thus providing the surgeon maximum freedom in pin diameter selection. The hole in the primary bolt is large enough to accommodate sleeved pre-drilling and application of positive profile or duraface pins directly through the bolt, while allowing the surgeon to pre-place a desired number of clamps on the external rod prior to pin application. The rod gripping channel labeled R is in the center of the clamp. The clamp can be temporarily held in position on the external connecting rod by the secondary bolt alone. The clamp is secured in place by symmetrical tightening on the secondary bolt and a nut labeled N on the end of the pin gripping bolt. The slotted washer of the primary bolt has a multi-toothed surface that engages the clamp body as the pin gripping bolt is tightened. This positive retention is unique to the SK ESF clamp design eliminating any possibility of pin-bolt slippage in relation to the external connecting rod, while functioning at any desired pin angle. Also engineered into the geometry of the SK clamp body are several wrench flats. Wrench flats are dimensions that correspond to the wrench size used for tightening of bolts and nuts. Both the bolt head and the clamp body support application of an open-end wrench, which can be used to stabilize the clamp while tightening the bolt, thus minimizing potentially disruptive torque forces created when tightening fixation clamps. This valuable feature is not found in other external fixation clamps and particularly useful in the early phases of frame assembly. The secondary bolt is designed to free the surgeon's hands and simplify frame application. In addition to providing symmetrical tightening of the SK clamp, the secondary bolt also enables an empty clamp to serve as a targeting device. This design eliminates the need for expensive aiming devices and pin placement instrumentation. Pin placement through a pre-placed clamp is performed as follows. First, using an empty SK clamp on the partially constructed frame, the clamp is placed at the approximate position desired. The appropriately sized drill sleeve or drill bit is then placed through the primary bolt. Next, the position of the clamp is fine-tuned proximal and distal along the rod and then rotated around the rod to the desired position for pre-drilling. If multiple full pins are being placed, the long axis of the drill sleeve is placed in the same plane as the adjacent pins. 
When the drill sleeve is properly aimed, the secondary bolt is tightened an additional amount to maintain the clamp and sleeve in this position during the pre-drilling process, as well as during the pin placement process. Most frames constructed are predominantly half-pin frames, and no attempts to place pins in the same plane are made. Instead, pin plane and position are determined by the best bone target or by the least soft tissue impingement. In effect, the SK clamp and secondary bolt, when appropriately used, behave as an extra pair of hands to simplify application of the fixation frame while eliminating the need for additional aiming instruments. Of all mechanical veterinary external skeletal fixation devices, the SK fixator requires the least instrumentation while providing the surgeon the most pin diameter options. Currently, the SK ESF device is available in three sizes, mini, small, and large, with a micro clamp in development. The mini SK clamp accommodates pin diameters from 0.9 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters diameter. The mini SK clamp utilizes a 7 millimeter wrench for tightening all bolts and providing desired counter torque to all available wrench flats. The Mini SK supports a connecting rod diameter of 3.2 millimeters or 1 8 of an inch, which is currently available in stainless steel. The small SK clamp can be used with pin diameters ranging from 2 millimeters to 4 millimeters. The small SK clamp utilizes an 8 millimeter wrench to tighten all bolts and provide counter torque as desired. The small SK clamp supports connecting bars of 6.3 millimeter diameter, which are available in carbon fiber composite and titanium choices. Carbon fiber is radiolucent and popular, while lightweight titanium offers increased strength that might be desired when using medium pins on a mechanically challenging case. The large SK clamp grips pin diameters ranging from 3 millimeters to 4.8 millimeters. The large SK clamp utilizes a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten all bolts and provide any desired counter torque. The large SK clamp supports connecting rods of 9.5 millimeters in diameter, which are available in carbon fiber or aluminum. Large carbon fiber rods are much more popular and almost exclusively used with the large SK clamp. When one looks at this pin diameter gripping data in a chart form, it is apparent that between the mini and small SK clamp sizes, as well as between the small and large SK clamps, there is overlap in the ranges of pin diameters that can be used with each SK clamp size. This overlap zone, as it is called, offers the surgeon the ability to select one of two bar size and strength options when using common pin diameters. Freedom of choice to construct a frame using not only the optimum pin diameter, but also the optimum frame elements is a unique attribute of the IMEX SK system. In summary, the SK external skeletal fixation system offers the surgeon more pin diameter and bar size and type choices than any other fixator. With minimal instrument requirements for construction of simple but mechanically appropriate frames, the SK external fixation system is also the most cost efficient. The SK external skeletal fixator was also engineered to be completely modular and to share the same instrumentation with the IMEX hybrid external skeletal fixator and the IMEX circular external skeletal fixator. Should you choose to expand into hybrid or circular external fixation in the future, you will be well prepared to do so with the SK Linear Fixator on hand.